optics, but I know that uh, um, a high roller just, yeah. you know, it just kept morphing. Uh -huh. And it wasn't until, you know, we were, uh, Billy and I were with uh, um, Teddy Templeman, mm -hmm. that it actually came together, yeah. you know, and, and uh, I give Ted a lot of credit for that, you know, mm -hmm. kind of directing that into that, uh, mm -hmm. that um, sort of uptown kind of thing. I see. You know, we did it as a, God, did we do it like a meter of six one time? That was the one that said maybe next time, you know. It, was, it just it just kept changing. And originally, which you can hear, I think, on uh, Hoi Hoi. Huh? Well, the, the, the box set. Well, Paul yeah. had a lot of really, really good sections in that, that song. And it was a matter of trying to figure out how to put yeah. them all together and keep them at a, to where they sound like they're part of the same thing. And mm. I think we were... We were definitely overthinking the process too, which is mm. where Ted helped us. Just sort of, hey, wait, it's this, you know, just yeah. do that, wow. you know. Um, it's it's hard, you know. I mean, when you walk into a situation with a song that you you believe in, I mean, it happened to me with Front Page News. Mm -hmm. That's why there's two, two mm -hmm. different versions of that song. Mm -hmm. You walk in with a vision of how you want to do it, mm -hmm. and because it's a band, mm -hmm. the band then either gets it or they don't, or Another force in the band says, "No, I hear it like this." And you're like, "Oh God, here we go." And, uh, but I've seen it on other sessions too. Yeah. I mean, I was working with Taj Mahal yeah. and um, Eddie James. Yeah. It was a song called uh, "Mockingbird," mm -hmm. and we, it's the session was starting to go off the rails because, oh no, we we should do it like this. And I I, I walked into the control room, John, yeah. uh, uh, the guy who's going to you know produce our this last album was a Porter. The Por Porter, John Porter. I talked to him. I said, "Look, John, we could do this ten different ways. I'm sure, mm -hmm. but the song is down, do down, 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 do down, do down, do down, do down. It's rock solid, man. Just let us do that. It's all about those two in there mm -hmm. and what they're gonna sing, mm -hmm. not about much of anything else. Mm -hmm. And we did it that way, and it was, it was fine. I mean." Sometimes it's just somebody saying, let's make a, de a decision. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you're young, it's kind of hard to do that because you don't really, you, there wasn't a lot of precedent for us to, to figure much of this stuff out. It was mm -hmm. all kind of, uh, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. we had a lot of latitude and that can yeah. hang you sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so without around this time, basically Lowell made the final decision to many things. Uh, yeah, some things. I mean, he, Mm -hmm. it, it, he, uh, we pushed, you know. Mm -hmm. Usually, though, it was okay. I mean, yeah, yeah. there wasn't a lot of disagreements mm -hmm. on that. Uh, the problems were, as Paul uh, alluded to earlier, they're more uh, business related. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what really kills it. Okay, we have to move to the talk of new uh, upcoming album. Before yeah. that, you know, for you personally, the chicken, what is the position in the, your history with it? Little Feet. Yeah. Best album, or personally loved album, or just kind of, you know, how do you call this album for you? I call it my first. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, you know, I can't say that, there, you know, it's like saying, you know, I have three kids and it's like saying you have a favorite one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you might have one, but you can't say because then the, other, the other two will be pissed off. Right. So, <laughs> so for me, it's my first, <laughs> and it was, and it was really, you know, a, a great, you know, step forward in my career. Hmm. To say the least. How about you? Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it's a fine record. Mm -hmm. They're like home movies. Mm -hmm. You know, you 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 look at things and. I don't have a, a, a lot of memories about it, but the, but this actual song takes you. There's some great songs on this record. Mm. Rolling Easy is a, yeah. a, a wonderful tune. Yeah. I, I I like more of the idea of the era because it brought in Paul and brought Sam and Kenny to the process. But mm. but, but Paul, Richie, and I went like you said. We went down and heard this guy play mm. with his band, and we were just blown away. We we're like, oh my God, we gotta get this guy in the group. And, and um, you know, it's the dynamic is still there. Yeah. You know, it, it, holding a band together is a really, really hard thing. Mm. 
but th but this was the start of that journey, really, mm -hmm. with us, with, with Paul and myself, and, which maybe is a good way to lead into this this latest one because mm -hmm. this. This is a, Rooster Rag is a really important record for us I mean, mm -hmm. on a lot of levels, <coughs> yeah. but as writers and uh, whatnot, it's it's a pretty good hat trick after 42 years, mm -hmm. where people, whether they say it or not, but they go, well, they don't need to write anything else. They've got this mm -hmm. whole collection of stuff, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, you walk through the door with with something that I just. Flat out told the people that were managing us. I said, "The first stuff we we recorded, I wouldn't play it for anybody. Mm -hmm. It's not going to move the dime." They tried it; it didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. This one, play him this, play him that record there. Mm -hmm. You're going to get a deal. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, we did. We know when it's there. The other thing was like a. a like, a, like is the water okay? Can we still, you know, mm -hmm. checking out Johnny Lee's studio. Mm -hmm. Great place. He's a wonderful guy. Mm -hmm. But we were, you know, we were reeling after six or seven years of just live records of, yeah, yeah, yeah. of very, uh, you know, mm -hmm. hopeful but but mm -hmm. business decisions that weren't clicking together. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of bands would have folded a lot sooner than this this band, I'll tell you that. It's mm -hmm. not, it wasn't easy. It was mm -hmm. not, not easy at all. You know, the last studio record, this one, this is, uh, you know, the kind of special record with a lot of guests. Yes. At, yeah. some, mm -hmm. at some band and uh, uh, covered your own songs, own classic songs, and uh, you know, some songs from the others. So, nine years. First time, first time in nine years. It's a long time. Yes. This one is, uh, and uh, during then uh, Sean left, and uh, Richie passed away, mm -hmm. and so and Gabe joined in. So it's a big change. So, right. so well, first of all, how is this is this long you know, interval, and uh, and you make a new album this time, this point. You know? I'm not sure what, what the question is. Okay. This is a, so. You guys have long, in nine years you have not you know, released a new material, and now you made an, You know, it's, it's a uh, function of, yeah. making records, for me, is a function of what is it you have to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And do you feel like saying it? Yeah. And we just didn't, we just didn't have it in us for whatever reason. Yeah. I think most of it, for, for, for me, I don't know about for you, Paul, but it would, it really had to do with this, trying to deal with tough times. That record took five years to make. It should have taken five months. Mm. So it's, there's just certain things you get into. And I mean, Jimmy Buffett was wonderful to us. It, it has zero to do with that. It was just, um, but that's a long, long time mm. not to, to have new material, not yeah. to write, not to, yeah. to rehearse. I mean, we went out and did new arrangements on material and whatnot. Mm. But it's um, your life blood is your is your is your what you play. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. And we that to me is exciting. This guy's doing a solo record. Mm. It's it's just good that people are back writing songs mm -hmm. and creating. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing. And if whatever we get in terms of little feet and what we can bring into little feet, it only makes our thing stronger. Just the band is absolutely kicking right now. So we need we need a we need things to sort of move forward a little bit on the business level, and mm -hmm. we'll see where it goes. But it's, uh, we seem to be in a pretty good place right now. Yeah, I'm trying to remember when when kicking it at the barn was mm -hmm. released. Was that uh, was that the one that was nine ago? years ago? Yeah, nine years kicking ago. at the barn. Wow. So this one came out after that. Yeah, yeah, 2008. Because that was uh, the last time Billy and I wrote together, like Bill's River Blues and Walking mm -hmm. Us Too. Yeah. And I thought there was, you know, we had done some really fine work on that project as well, but we didn't, we didn't have the backing at that point. We were with uh, this other management company, you know, the main name was. And, <laughs> yeah. and uh, we were trying to do it all ourselves, which was very tough. Mm -hmm. This album has, has probably the best situation for us in a long, long time with Rounder Records in the United States will be universal over here. Mm -hmm. uh, they're part of the Concord Group, which is uh, 
you know, it's still a small label, but yet it's very focused. And, I, and you know, I think uh, we have a shot at, at uh, creating a bigger wave with, with this one than, mm -hmm. than we have with the, mm -hmm. the past couple. You know, quite frankly, join the band, like Bill said, it was, it was, uh, it took too long to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was, it was fraught with legal miscues. I mean, when you start bringing in all these different people, mm -hmm. you know, of the, of the name values alone, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just to get them to sign on the dotted line, it's, you know, <laughs> so this album, you know, it's, uh, you wrote a song with Robert Hunter, mm -hmm. going to the lyricist, right? And uh, Fred bring the four songs. Yeah. His. So, uh, so how about you? You, know, you said that you find something to tell, you know. So you collaboration with uh, well, uh, Robert, Robert. Robert is uh, inspire you to. Robert Bryant right, brings in these wonderful lyrics, and, mm -hmm. and I, I, I felt motivated to, to write a couple things. And um, I started keying off of certain phrases for Rooster Rag, for example, mm -hmm. uh, kings of creation. Let's say, uh, 